Hey everybody, Jody Ainsley here. I know that there's been some questions about Octopus and how to use it. It is a software that's on all of your desktops at UE and it does have some really cool features. So I wanted to show you, first of all, how do I find Octopus? What you'll do is you'll go to the start menu on your desktop and you'll scroll down till you find Quizdom, which is the company that, that owns Octopus. So Quizdom, you'll see the Octopus uh, icon here. The first thing you want to do, you can click on here and open it right up. But if you think you're going to be using this often, I would right click on this before you get started. And I would actually pin it to the taskbar or pin it to the start. If you pin it to the start, it'll always be there in the start. I have pinned it to the taskbar. That's why it appears down here. So from now on, on this desktop, I can click on here, it'll open it right up. So when I click on it, and I open it up, it takes a little bit, but it'll open up. There are a lot of things that Octopus can do. We, I have not explored all of them, but uh, on the simplest level, it is a very nice whiteboard tool that has a lot of specialty content tools in it that you can use. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna actually take you through a couple of these things. We'll talk a little bit about what Octopus might do for you in your classroom. So here we are in the opening screen of Octopus. You'll see that you can open up a whiteboard tool. So we're gonna go into that one first. And they actually give a nice introduction. You can skip it if you want to, and you can don't show this again. I'm going to finish that. Um, you'll see on the side left you'll, is all the uh, all of the toolbars on the left hand side. These are the standard tools. So you'll notice it has the basic ideas, the um, cursor. It has um, it has the selection tools. It has a pencil, so you can go ahead and draw on it or annotate. It has. It does have a handwriting recognition tool, so you can write a word and it will recognize it. Um, it has lines you can do, um, you can do the erase, you can click on the toolbar and start typing, it has shapes, all the kind of typical things you see standard tools for a whiteboard, okay? The other thing that it has, which is kind of reminds you a little bit of Smart Notebook, is the ability to do a window shade, which is nice. So a lot of people like that and miss that. So they have the window shade. Um, it also has a torch, which is again, very similar to uh, the uh, smart notebook where you can actually um, put it around to focus on certain things if you have students that are easily distracted. It has a magnifying glass that works the same way. It magnifies whatever area of the screen that you put it up in charge in, in, in front of. Um, you've got your keyboard, you've got your undos and stuff. You can, you know, clear the selection, clear the clear the uh, screen um, and reset slides. You can also do some capturing. So you can actually do video capturing or media capturing with screen capture. If you wanted to actually go through and, and, and annotate something and screen capture it for students to post uh, for them to view later, you can do that as well. These are all the standard tools. And I also want to point out on the bottom here, if you click on this one, you can actually see the different slides. So you actually almost see a slide sorter of sorts. Um, and so you can click on the different slides. Um, you can add new slides down here. So as you can see, now I have two slides. Um, and this is a background. So you can click on this and you can click on different backgrounds that you want for different, different things that you might want to do. Maybe a T-chart. Um, maybe you're doing some sort of four corners activity. Um, you can do a bunch of different things here. Okay, so that's the background feature here uh, uh, on the right hand side here at the bottom. Now, as I said before, um, these are actually uh, standard tools, right? So we talked about them being standard tools. Um, what you can also do is you can go to different tools. So I can click on here and notice now I have math tools, which is kind of cool. All right. You can investigate them. There's some really cool ones there. They have language arts tools. 
they have science tools, geography tools, okay? So you have like the specialty tools that you might need for these content areas, right? Now, I want to point out also one thing is that when you go up here, you can create from scratch, but you can also click on the top here. You can create a new one. Uh, you can open an existing one that you've created. You can insert a PDF, and that's kind of cool because when I go ahead, I'm just going to show this now, insert a PDF. Here's one that I created, and I am importing that PDF. So you could take one of your PDFs that you have. You could open it up on in, in um, Octopus, and it will go ahead and populate into this screen. It's taking a little bit. Oh, there it is. All right, so there it is. So now I can move this. And by the way, I didn't point this out, but this is like a quick palette of your standard tools. So you can minimize it or you can click on it. And these give you just some of the basic things that you might want to do, like annotation and or text. Okay. So here we go. I can do this. I can click on here and I can go ahead and I can, you know, you know, fill this in, whatever I want to do. Okay. Here. So another thing you can do with Octopus, I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. It, I pinned it to the bottom. I'm going to open it up from here. I'm going to go into the whiteboard tools. Then I'm going to skip this. And from the top here, I'm going to actually um, open up one that I recently did. So I'm going to open up. I'm going to actually open up an example lesson that I did. This is just one that I was playing with it. Um, I changed the background color. I brought in some things. Um, I was uh, kind of played with the media gallery. Again, there's uh, the media gallery in the basic tools. You have a media gallery here. It doesn't have a ton of stuff, um, but it does have some things. And obviously, as you can see, you can do some Venn diagrams and you can do some fractions and they have uh, definitely some more ar architectural kinds of things and flow charts. So there are some pretty cool things in there that you could definitely use. I could see very, being very useful. As you go through, I'm going through the slides here. Remember, we talked about the standard tools, right? And I so I just kind of created this as I played. Uh, here's some of the math tools that I kind of played with um, on the slide. So I just kind of threw together a couple things. And as you can see, there's some really good um, there's some really cool um, tools that you can certainly use and play with and see if they work for your content area. Okay. So you can open up an existing one that you've created. So you can prepare this ahead of time, open it up, and have it ready for students uh, to have them engage in an interactive lesson. The other thing you can do with Octopus at the top, and you can open up Smart Notebook Files. Right. This is one of those things that we have not been able to do with any other program is open it directly. OK, it is not perfect. I will tell you it is not going to be exactly like smart notebook, because remember, software companies are very proprietary and they don't necessarily want you to just switch back and forth. But you can in in Octopus open up a smart notebook. Here's a smart notebook file that was sent to me by a teacher. I can open this up and bring it in. It's not going to be perfect, but I think you're going to find that there are some things that will hold true. So this lesson actually has some sliders and things that actually work not too bad. Um, again, it's still not going to be perfect, but if you have that smart notebook file that you really love and you would like to try and see if it converts over to octopus check it out and see if it works all right it doesn't hurt to try so check it out let me know what you think about octopus if you want to meet and like explore it together i would love to do that as i really want to learn more myself um, and you know let me know if you have any questions and we'll figure it out together have a great day